What's up guys, I'm Carter Scher and this is the official Team Roar house tour of 2022. I'm standing here at the front gates, so let's open them up and let's go check it out. The tour starts here through the main gates, pulling down the driveway. The first thing you're gonna notice is the driveway is absolutely massive. And my favorite part is that we pull right up next to the lake. Stop number one is the main house and there is a lot to see, but before we go inside, I wanna show you something that I think is just amazing. Over here, we have the fountain of the house and normally you fill a fountain with water, but I decided to go a step crazier because I saw David Dobrik have a water fountain that he could drink orange soda. So I wanted to fill this fountain with my favorite flavor of Gatorade. Now let's go inside the main house and let me show you where I live. Come on inside. This house is 8,500 square feet with four bedrooms, a movie theater and a secret room. It is the Team Rar house after all, so I have to have some crazy branding. TeamRar.com, we got the Team Rar plushies, Team Rar artwork, I think it looks amazing. So when you walk into this house, you're never confused of where you're at, the Team Rar house. Right here is the main living quarters of the house. And first off, you'll know that the ceilings are huge. They're so tall and I love that because as a YouTuber, I'm always trying to put you know giant things in my house. And we used to have a trampoline over there and the ceiling was so tall, we couldn't even touch the ceiling jumping on a trampoline, which is awesome. We have couches here and so, you know, after vlogging on a hard day, I like to come in here, relax, watch YouTube videos on my phone, things like that. Over here is one of my favorite aspects of the main living area. And it's these huge double doors that open up to the backyard. And the view is just amazing. It's always gorgeous weather out here. You can see the lake, the backyard, and everything that you can see in this view is part of my backyard, which is just absolutely amazing. Another reason why I love these huge doors, especially as a YouTuber, is that it's a wide enough open that you can literally drive a car into the house. And I've done that. I've driven a minivan in here and another small car and I was able to drive it literally around my house. I think that's so funny. Moving on to the next room. Well, it's not really a room because there's no walls that divide it. It's just a continuation of the space, but I don't know what to do with it. It's just a lot of extra space. So I just have some random things. Up here, I have some Team Rar stuff, some things I've collected over the years and a bunch of YouTube play buttons all kind of just crammed in there for now. But I want you guys to let me know what I should do with this room. Comment down below what I should do. And let's move on to the dining room. This is the dining table. You know, I love glass. The whole house is pretty much made of glass. So I had to get a glass dining table. This is where we eat, this is where I do a lot of work. And now let's go to the kitchen and see where I store all my food. This is the kitchen. This is where I eat all my food, all my snacks, things like that. We have the grill top here. I don't actually cook a lot of food, so I don't really use that too much. This is where I wash my hands over here. And of course, the refrigerator. Check it out. Every house tour has got to see the refrigerator. I love to stay hydrated. And I'm definitely going through like a bubbly water phase. So I have every single flavor I could find at the grocery store and I stocked it full of here. And it's amazing. So let's try a new flavor today. This is a cherry bubbly flavor. I haven't tried cherry. Let's see if it's any good. Mm. You're probably wondering, Carter, do you actually eat food? Your entire refrigerator is just full of drinks and you don't cook. Well, I do have a fridge over here and it's not as pretty and this is why I don't really show it, especially on camera, but I'm gonna show it to you guys. And I just cram all of my food in here. So I have all my food in here, but it's not pretty. So I don't really want that part of the tour, but you guys got it. Moving on, we got the Team Roar logo. This is from the last house. We hung it up here with the glass because it looks amazing. And moving on, I have some more food and it's not pretty. So it's really not a part of the house tour, but check it out. I have so many stacks. I like to eat candy like Sour Patch Kids, Gushers, love popcorn. One of my favorite snacks of all time is popcorn, but let's move on to one of my favorite rooms in the house. And behind me is the movie theater. Come on guys, check this out. All the YouTube videos that you guys watch where I have like a voiceover, I come in here to record it because the sound quality is just amazing. We have a projector on the big screen. I love to watch movies. We play Xbox, Fortnite. It's the best way to game is on the big screen. We have reclining lazy boy seats that are just so comfortable. I usually fall asleep and don't even make it to the end of the movies. And what movie theater is complete without the Cinnabar? And here is basically just a little bar area. I just use it for candy. And anytime you go to the movie theaters, they always give you candy that are served in like these shaped packages. Skittles is one of my favorites and so we made sure that this movie theater is stocked with the correct movie theater candy. This house is pretty big so walking from one end all the way to the other can take some time so I like to ride a dirt bike. Let's go! We're going from the kitchen all the way to my bedroom and it's way faster when you ride a dirt bike. Woo! Let's go! Oh my! And we just are now in my bedroom. That's my room. That's my bed right there. And this is my dirt bike parking spot right here. Boom. So this is my master bedroom. This is where I sleep every single night. I love my bed. It is so comfortable. And the craziest thing is I can look up to the sky. 
It's literally hand painted. The previous owner painted it. It's got clouds. It looks amazing. And it is so tranquil and calm in here. One thing you'll notice is my bedroom is literally every single wall is glass. So privacy is a little bit of a challenge, especially when we're having friends over like almost every single day filming crazy videos. Luckily, when I want privacy, I can come over here to the blinds and do that and nobody can see in and nobody can see out. My bathtub is in the floor, which I've never seen before. It's super unique, but it's so big, basically. To me, it's like a hot tub. You could probably put like three people in here if you really wanted to. It's got jets. It's super relaxing, especially after a hard day. You just come in here and soak in the tub. My bedroom is so big. It's 2,000 square feet, and it's honestly bigger than I'm comfortable. Sometimes I feel lonely being in my room by myself. <laughs> out front, my room is amazing. This is like the most peaceful, tranquil area ever. I have a koi pond right here that I can see right through the windows. All the foliage, all the plants are all imported Japanese. We do have koi fish in there and they are beautiful. Before we finish with the main house and move on with the rest of the fun stuff here on the property, there is one more room I have to show you. And this one is my favorite room of all time. When things are crazy and things are super busy, I like to go up to the secret room. Two more ladders later and another hatch brings you to the secret room. This is something that I custom built. It took two weeks and a lot of work because it definitely did not look like this when we first moved into this house. This was a lot of work to do, but I think it turned out amazing and it added an extra room in the house and it's so cool to show all my friends when they come here. And growing up as a kid, I would have thought this was absolutely amazing, which is why I wanted to build it. Woo! Let's go out through this door, which takes us to the rooftop of the house. Come on, let's go. This is the rooftop, which is another cool spot of the house. It is so big and wide open. So it's basically to me like a blank canvas and I want to build the most epic rooftop ever up here. And dropping down over here is the other part of the rooftop. This actually goes over my master bedroom. And if you look through these windows, you can see my bed. Check it out. Over here is the swimming pool and we're still pretty high up. And if I drop my shoes, you get an idea of just how high we are. I think it's time to go for a swim. Little rooftop jump, here we go. Our pool also has one of the coolest features, which is a swim up bar, and we can always eat snacks by the poolside. Welcome to the Team Roar Bar. What can I get you? I'll take a pink uh, bubbly. Oh, perfect. All right, thank you so much. You're very welcome. It is so refreshing to be sitting in the water and have a nice refreshment. But there is so much more to see here at the new Team Roar House, so let's keep moving. Woo! The lake here at the Timura house is really interesting because it wraps almost all the way around the main house, making kind of an island. It's eight acres. Let me give you a tour. Hang on, here we go. And if you guys have an 8-acre lake in your backyard, I would hope that you would build a water park because that's exactly what I did. And water trampolines are great for flips, so let's send one into the lake. Woo! Can't stay at the water park too long because there is still just so much more I want to show you guys. Buckle up, we're going back to the other side. Here we go! I left my shoes, so I wanted to uh, just drive the boat as close as I could to our next stop, which is the monster truck. I'm gonna give you a tour of the backyard now, which is this huge field behind me. I could take you around the backyard just walking and showing you what I have, but why not bring you in the monster truck? It's a lot of land, so let's just drive the most fun vehicle that I have. Here we go. There we go. Whoa! We just entered the field to the backyard. It's a massive field. It's about 10 acres. I don't really know what to do with it, but I call it the RAR field. So much potential we can do out here. I have parked out here in the middle of the field to give you guys a sense of just how big it is. There's so much space that I honestly, I just literally don't know what to do. And we're not even too far away from the house all the way over there. If you're wondering if this monster truck can crush cars, it can absolutely run over your mom's car and flatten it like a pancake. We've done that a few times already. The way back part of the field connects to the other parts of the house and let's climb up this thing. I feel like this is a good parking spot. The Team Roar house is over 110 acres and we're at the back side of the field which connects to the woods which will take us to the other part of the property. The monster truck is way too big to go through the woods so we're gonna ride the ATV. Here we go. 
Entering the trail system is super expansive. It's over 60 acres of different trails to ride dirt bikes, ATVs, and anything that you want, really. We got some bumps and jumps. We have some muddy section for mud bogging. We have a little bit of everything back here, and it makes for endless fun because one of my favorite activities of all time is riding my dirt bike and driving ATVs. I did that growing up, and you guys probably remember from the way old back videos at the Sheriff Fam house, and having 60 acres of trails to ride on is literally a dream come true for me. And popping out out of the trails. We got the monster truck. Look at it. Go, go, go. There's Matt on the monster truck. He's going to the same place we're going. We're going back to the garages. We are now entering the next part of the property. I call it the warehouse district because we have three giant warehouses here totaling over 30,000 square feet of space. Our first stop is what we call the brown garage because it's brown. I feel like I should probably paint it like green or something. I don't know. I want you guys to comment below what color I should paint this garage because brown is definitely not doing it for me. And let me show you what's inside. In here is a combination of a few different things. We have some more cars for storage. And over here is the workshop. So you guys know I love to build stuff. I build all kinds of crazy things for the videos. And I grew up building and using tools. And for my 12th birthday, all I ever wanted was a welder. I taught myself to weld and that really sparked a ton of passion for building and creating amazing things. And now I finally have the space to get all the tools I've ever dreamed of and build the craziest things things I can dream of and make YouTube videos for you guys. This is warehouse number one, but there is still two more to go. So let's hop on a new vehicle and let's go. The next warehouse is our longest one. And this thing is seriously long. I think it's over 250 feet long and it's so big we can drive into it. So we're taking the golf cart and we're going into it. This is what we use as our prop storage. Behind us are all the costumes that you've ever seen in any video in the past. We have all these different things like the astronaut suit, different hats and wigs and costuming. Over this way, we have storage of Legos. This is the upside down 100 button mystery box. We have ball pits. We literally have all of the props. I want you guys to look through this part of the video and see if you guys recognize anything from your favorite videos in the past. Because this is where we keep everything. We have the world's biggest RC monster truck, the X-Max. Over here is completely empty and I plan on building out an entire gym. We have some stuff here so we can work out and be strong, stay healthy. And now we are out and the warehouse continues on. There's still three more doors. I'm not even going to go through the trouble of opening it. We just have more stuff in there. We have some old jet skis and other projects that we're working on. And this is where Hunter works on his hoverboard. That is warehouse number two. And we're going to the last but not least, warehouse number three. This one is pretty much a showroom. I think that's what the previous owner used it for. And I've been kind of using it like that too. You can see my crazy car collection, starting with the Hummer H1, the Doom Buggy, we have the Lamborghini Countach, the Lamborghini Aventador. We have the crazy boat car. I just posted a video on that, super fun. We have the RC car and the limo. And I'm just so tempted. I think we need to grab one of these cars and go for a ride to the next spot because we have an entire another house I need to show you. And I don't think we should drive with this because the battery's dying. So let's take something a little bit faster. This is the very first car that I ever bought moving to LA. So let's take this. The weather's perfect. Let's see if she'll start. It is from 1964. Yeah, there she goes. She might be old, but she still works. So we are now driving out of the warehouse district and we're moving on to the guest house. The guest house is over here at the front of the property. But I think we need to make a deep Tour. We're in a dune buggy, which means it's literally meant for the dunes. I don't have sand dunes, but I have grass dunes, so let's do a little bit of off-roading. And the grass dunes will actually take us to the guest house, which is over there. We're gonna hit the jump, hang on. Woo! And now we are on to the driveway of the guest house. The history of the guest house is really interesting. It's technically the original house that was built on this property. Of course, Liz comes over and basically takes it for herself. So this is kind of Liz's house now. Walking in looks really nice. She put some artwork up. She got some couches and things. But of course, in Lizzie fashion, she started painting the house pink. And this room is completely pink. And you think like, oh, that's cool. She just painted the walls. No, she's planning on painting the entire house pink, including the outside. It's tough to show this entire house all in one video, but there is one more place I have to show you. So let's head there right now. We're gonna loop all the way back and I haven't really shown this part in too many videos and you guys are gonna think it's cool. A little bit more off-roading. We gotta go dropping down this crazy hill right here like this. And over here, guys, we have the tennis court. The first thing that we did right here is the Krusty Krab. Vic in the game and Kaylin came over and they road trip halfway across the country just to build this. And they did an incredible job. It's standing. Let me give you a whole tour. It's amazing. They did such an incredible job and I love the back aesthetic. I think it just looks amazing. And we even have the menu where you can order a Krabby Patty. 
The tennis court also has this tiny little room. It was probably meant for, you know, rich people to be out like swinging tennis rackets and then drinking their lemonade. But I turned it into a guest house because I have so many friends and family always trying to visit me. So this is where my parents love to stay. It's their favorite room. They call it the Cozy Shack and they have Otter and Cooper that also stays in here and the dogs love it too. Now let's head up back to the main house. Hey, oh guys, we're going up the steep hill. Woo! This takes us around to the back side of the house. This is a house tour after all, so I really want to give you guys a good layout and doing a full loop like that brings us back to the front of the house, pretty much where the house tour begun. We're going all the way back to the Gatorade fountain. And that brings us full circle. I showed just about everything that I could fit into this video and it couldn't have been done without literally each and every single one of you guys subscribing and it means the world to me. So if you guys have any ideas, please comment down below and know that I love each and every single one of you. And I'll see you guys on the next vlog. Peace. Woo!